Hi guys, I've partnered with temp a brand that I've been using in my Pro Makeup Artist Kit for five years, and I am so excited to show you this full complexion tutorial with just this machine. Everything I'm using today is part of their temp one Glowing Complexion Kit. They have two formulas you can choose from, and then they personalize your blush and highlight, and of course, give you three shades of foundation to get your perfect match. I have been using this on brides all year. It's one of my favorite things to spray even on top of foundation, whether you use it alone or with something else. I love this tool. It has one button. It used to have a three speed selection, but now you only have one button and then you have the speed selection actually in the trigger. So if you pull it all the way down, that will shoot the most makeup out and you kind of just toggle this as far as coverage. This would be light, medium, and then heavy. So this is what I'm wearing right now. We're gonna jump right into it. Let me know any questions you have below and everything will be linked, including all the shades that I'm using, etc. So something I didn't know about this machine, even though I've been using it for years, is that you have to prime it before you begin to use it. When you initially get the machine, you wanna go ahead and click this until you hear that noise. That noise means it's ready to go. You also wanna take the plastic off of this and it's super easy. You just pop it onto your machine. And the first step is to prime it. Don't prime it. You could have some problems along the way. So what you wanna do is take your s and cleaner and just put a few drops, enough to cover the needle. You can put your cap back on. And then you wanna grab a paper towel or something and you wanna blow all that cleaner out. This just lubricates the whole system. Next up, we're gonna grab our primer. This will give you a beautiful glow and you wanna shake this. I heard from Temptu's trainer that you wanna work in drops. You don't need to fill this whole thing up because you won't need that much. Now we're gonna apply our primer. You always want this about four fingers away from the face and you always want your airbrush to keep moving. Now I want a little bit of extra glow on my cheekbones. So I'm gonna apply more pressure to the trigger here to get more spray on my cheekbones. I'm gonna go ahead and hit my collarbones with this too because I have a little extra. It's great for body. You don't have to clean your airbrush in between every single time. I'm not gonna clean it. I'm just gonna spray the excess, anything that's left in there out onto my tissue. And I'm gonna add my foundation in. I'm gonna shake up my foundations. I have the shades Buff, Birch, and Bisque. And between the three of them, I know I will get my perfect shade. My main color will be Buff 3N, but I'm going to lighten a bit with Birch. And I'm gonna add a little bit of a pink tone with the Bisque. Sometimes these little bottles clog because of the mixing bowl. So if you have a little tweezer on hand, just poke it back down. There's two ways to mix your favorite shade. You can back bubble it. So you turn the airbrush on and you hold the air so it back bubbles into this compartment and mixes it up for you. If you don't wanna back bubble it or if it's not back bubbling enough, you can mix it with your mixing brush. This comes in the kit and this is what I usually prefer to do because then I can take my brush and I can test the foundation shade right on my skin. seems to be a pretty good blend, so I'm gonna go ahead and start spraying. I 
I am going to do another layer of foundation. I like like a medium to full coverage. I'm going out tonight, so I want to have pretty flawless skin. So we're going to go back over this with another layer. Now, mind you, you never want to pull all the way down on the trigger. That will result in a lot of overspray and a ton of coverage, and it's not necessary. You want to work your way up with light to medium pressure and you can pull on the trigger a little harder for spot coverage. This is the level of coverage that I'm comfortable with. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of concealer and then we'll move on to blush and highlight. Okay, I'm ready for blush. I am not gonna clean out the machine, but I am just gonna spray the excess foundation onto my towel again. Out of all these years, this is my first time using a temp to blush, so I'm really excited. And I just put enough to cover the needle again, pop the top back on. And you want to keep the blush moving in circles because if you hold it for too long, it's going to be a little blotchy. So there's an art to this. This blush kind of looks like bronzer, I love it. I'm gonna pull it into my hairline just to keep the blend. Okay, now they do recommend that you clean out your airbrush before highlight, so I am gonna do that. Okay, now we're ready to highlight. I actually cannot believe that I was able to highlight my inner corner of my eyes with this so seamlessly. Because of the air pressure and the way that you can pull on the trigger, you can feel it if it's within your range. And I'm shocked. Like, I didn't know if that would work, but it worked great. So now I feel like my complexion is pretty much set up and ready to go. So I'm gonna finish off my lips and then give you the final verdict on how I feel about this. Use my Makeup Forever Endless Cacao Pencil. And my Natasha Denona Glossy Lip or Lipstick. I don't know if this still exists, but it's in shade 20, Sandy Beige a little bit of powder here and here so I'm just going to use my hourglass palette just to knock out a little bit of shine I think I got a little happy with the highlights and then just to try I want to see how bronzer sits on top of this so I'm just going to use my bronzer from this hourglass palette Okay, and this is the finished look. I was looking at the skin. I keep looking and I really am into this finish because I look like I have full coverage makeup on without 
appearing cakey and nothing is settling in. I feel actually very, very good in this. It's funny because I have these products. I've had this machine for forever, but it stays in my pro makeup kit. So I'm glad to have an extra one so that I can personally use it. You know, if this is something interesting to you, if you want to see any more work with it, maybe I could get some contours. They also have like some crazy colors. I guess you do eyeshadow. So I would love to show you guys more. If that's something you're interested in, please let me know in the comments below and I'll see you for the next one.